into uh, said relationships and said friendship, fr fr said friendships. Hey, what y'all need to really focus on? You need to focus on somebody that's loving the Lord so much and trusting the Lord so much that you already see a change in them. Did y'all hear me? That they already, you already see their improvement. You already see God in their life. Stop listening to a whole bunch of folks that's talking in words but not living the life. and hooking all up with stuff. And the person couldn't box their way out of a wet napkin. You better hook up with somebody that taking it through. You better recognize how people go through even on a broken piece. You better recognize how people go through even when their heart is busted up. But they still trust in God. They're not doubting by the way. They're not falling by the wayside. But they're still, Lord, whatever you say. That's who you better. James, the fourth chapter. My, as I feel like preaching. I don't know if I'm going to preach, but I feel like preaching. Yeah. 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 If I happen to fall by the wayside, what do y'all think? Hallelujah. James 4. I'll pick it up at verse 7. And it reads, Submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Resist. Mm -hmm. Draw nigh to God, and he will draw nigh, or he will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double-minded. Well, wait a minute. Y'all hear what that said? First it spoke to the sinners. Then it spoke to the, then it spoke to the church. Then it spoke to the believer. It said, uh -huh. it said cleanse your hands, ye sinners. And purify your hearts, ye double-minded. But you know, we got some double-minded saints. That's the problem. You can't walk in victory and be double-minded. You can't uh, uh, accomplish your purpose while you're double-minded. Oh, go on with that. Because see, James 1 and 8 had already said that a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Good God Almighty. Just unstable. Unstable. You know, God is God. God is, is not unstable, you know. And I don't understand we, why we have so many so-called saints that really come across as so unstable. It's because they're double-minded. All right. You can't be double-minded and receive from the Lord that which you're seeking. Hallelujah. You got to first have a made-up mind. Hallelujah. Right. I, I submit to you today that a person that is double-minded is all time a person that maybe they started out and they were praying. Uh-huh, and they will believe in God, but because God didn't do it instantaneously, because things didn't happen when we wanted it to happen, then we became, we wavered. Uh-huh, and our prayer life kind of started falling by the wayside. Oh, glory to God. And that gave room and space and place for the devil to enter in. Mm -hmm. Say, so you've been praying all this time, and God ain't heard your prayer. He's not out there. I've been trying to tell y'all all these years, he's just a figment of your, of your imagination. But the devil is a liar. Yeah. But you gotta be careful. Because a double-minded man don't know which way he wanna go. Oh, have mercy. Uh -huh. you, you, today, you wanna serve God. 
Tomorrow, you're out there doing them. The electric slide. Uh oh, let me go over by some Some of y'all need to realize that. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But y'all, it's about, and I gotta begin there because we must understand that it's not about the fact that God is not the same as he was on yesterday. For the Bible gives us to know that he is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Amen. Amen. What he did way back in the Old Testament. Right. Amen. He's able to do now. Right. Amen. He's able to do greater. He's able to do whatever he wants to do when he wants to do it. If he wants to do it. Will you trust him to do it? Right. Oh my God. Will you continue to trust him to do it? Oh, glory to God. I believe that God is the beginning uh, when you talk about someone that's double-minded. That is the beginning of folk murmuring and complaining. Mm -hmm. Yeah, huh? this isn't this isn't right. That's not that. Y'all ever been around some complaining folk? Folks all try to tell you to fix it up. Oh, I'm just expressing myself. You call what you want. When everything's always you know, it's a tone. It's an attitude. There's an attack. There's an attitude that is an attack. That, that is an attachment to a complaint. Right. It's just always negative. Right. And even if the voice don't sound like yeah, 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 it just comes out like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. yeah. Just hear it over and over and over again. And don't you know what? After a while, when somebody complains all the time, as soon as their mouth about to open, you're like, oh. A complaining mouth will give you a headache. Lord, have mercy, Jesus. Woo, God. If you don't watch yourself, you complain so much until you start lying. What you mean, preacher? Because sometimes things are not as bad as, they, as, as you would have it to see. Uh-huh, but you've been talking about it so much. You've been lingering and dwelling on that situation for so long until now it's become, it was a molehill, but now it's a huge mountain. You have made a molehill of Mount Everest. Complaining. Well, I don't need it. Why don't you shut up and pray? But you just, listen, you need to be delivered from a complaining's place. I got, I, got, I got a question for you. You whining and moaning and complaining and bickering. Anybody ever heard the Lord take care of your stuff while you just complaining? Why the world going to deal with you when you complaining? You don't need to be whining. Lord, Lord, I don't know why you don't have something. Wait a minute, you asking the Lord something or you just want to complain about it. See, you gotta watch it. The devil will switch your sincere prayer to becoming a whining expedition. God don't need you whining. He said, the Bible said, I cried. And he delivered me. He said, I whine. Oh Lord, I don't mind. When you gonna do it, Lord? I know you. I've been waiting. When you gonna do it? Just like he turned us off, I believe it turned God off. He said, I want you to trust me. Yes, yes, yes. Believe on me. Though so it don't look like it's going to be going to people. Step out by faith. 